guys, welcome back to Riddler Gaming. So we'll be looking at I Get This Call Every Day by David Gallant. It's kind of a point and click adventure type thing. Um, except it's not really an adventure. Basically you work at a call centre, here's our desk. And you have to go through the day of what David Gallant goes through because he works at a call centre instead of developing games. Um, although this is a game that he's developed about working in a call centre. It's all very confusing. So here we are, let's start. So we're going to take the call. Standard Hello, greeting. Hello, General Inquiries. My name is David. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah. Hi, I need to change my address. Now, uh, here's our interesting-looking friend here, on the other end of the phone. Um, everything looks like it's done in MS Paint, which is impressive. I mean, I couldn't do all this stuff in MS Paint. Far too difficult and advanced for me. So we're going to ask for his SIM, which I think is Social Insurance Number. It's some Canadian thing. It might be American, God knows. I think it's Canadian. He's from Canada. But, as an Englishman, I have no idea what that means. Can I get your SIN, please? My what? Your social insurance number. That's Ooh, private. nailed it. Why should I give that to you? Well, I need it to look up your account. I'm only changing my address. Yes, but in order to do that, I need to pull up your account. <sighs> it's 111-22211. Thank you. Ah, uh, so it's invalid. He's given us the wrong, wrong thing. Mm, I'm afraid that's not a valid social insurance number. Could you double check the number, please? Fine, let me get my wallet. It's 1112233. Thank you. Woo! So this is Billy J. Swath. So we're going to ask for his full name. Can I have your full name? Bill. I'm sorry, is that your full name? <sighs> yes. H how do you not get that? If, if someone asks you for your full name, uh. I need your first and your last name. Well, why didn't you say so? I did! My full name is Billy Swarth. No, it's not my... You need your initials. Because this is security questions. God. I'm sorry, that still doesn't match. Do you have a middle name or an initial? It's Billy J. Swarth. Jeez. Don't get uppity with me, bitch. God. Like, this isn't... I, th I guess the game is an attempt to make you annoyed at what he has to go through every day. So, I'm going to ask for his date of birth. It's another security protocol. Can I have your date of birth, please? November 10th. What year? And what year was that? 1991. Thank you. Thank you. Right, the, um, also the aim of the game is to not get fired. And like, if you antagonize, antagonize him, he asks, yeah, he just gets angry and then you get fired. It's not, it's not nice. It's not, it's not pleasant. Can I have the address that's currently on your file? 1137 East 25th Avenue. No. Uh, what city and province is that? Alberta. What city in Alberta? Calgary. I'm sorry, that no. doesn't match the address that we currently have on file. Is that your new address? Yes, you said you wanted the current address. Okay, I'm actually looking for the address that we have on your file. It's probably your last address. Is it in Coquitlam? No, well, yeah, it is, but we can't... We, security. Well, these are security questions. I'm not supposed to disclose any information from your file. Fine, try 50 Birch. <sighs> no, full. I need the full mailing address. 50 Birch Street. What city in <sighs> province is that? BC? What city in BC? Coquitlam. Was there any apartment or box number? Box 7. Thank you. So, we just need to go Finally. through some additional security questions in order to change your address. What do you mean? I've given you my name, my address, my sin. I'm me, buddy. This is the law. You're not above the law. I am the law. I understand that, sir, but the law requires the law. you to go through strict security questions to protect your account. Whatever. Imagine if Judge Dredd was like the guy who was doing these phones. That would be badass. Right, anyway, so what we're going to ask is security questions. So we'll go for the two previous Other addresses. Other the addresses you've already provided, can you tell me two prior addresses you've ever had on your account? 50 Birch. You already gave me that address. I'm looking for two prior addresses. 50 <sighs> Birch is my prior address. Guy's a right, tool. But we haven't changed the address yet. Can we do that? We can, once we get through security. Okay, so what do you need? Two prior Just addresses. Just said. Prior to 50 Birch? Yes, please. Well, I used to live in Saskatoon. Full address. Full. How, how, how does he not get that? You just asked for the full address the first time. You can't just say, oh, I lived in Saskatoon. That's just... Oh. God. I want to hunt this guy down. I want to headbutt him. I need a full mailing address. 
12 Regina Road, Saskatoon. Nope. It doesn't match anything that I have on file. Is that the only place you lived in Saskatoon? Yep. Right, street or box. You said mailing Did you address. Did get your mail there at your house? No, we had a box. Why? Well, I'm looking for your mailing address. Fucking oh, hell. okay. We had a P.O. box. And what was the address for that box? No idea. You don't remember? Nope. You must have it written down somewhere. Come on. Do you have the address written down somewhere or on any old documents? No, I don't. Listen, do you remember the addresses of every place you've ever lived? Yes! Yes, I do, actually. Listen, I pay my taxes uh -oh. and I don't have to put up with this fucking shit. I want to speak to your manager now. Okay, sure. I just uh -oh. need to put you on hold while We've I see if my supervisor's more. available. Let's put him on hold. Eh. Yeah. That's probably not whole, that's why we just turn it off. I'm guessing we... Ah, oh, fuck! Come on! Ugh. So that's the game. The music's amazing, by the way. Pete Massio. This song's awesome. Um, but yeah. That's, that's the game. It's frustrating. Because there must be like a specific path that you can do to get to the end. Um, but like a better man than me will find that out. I just can't. I can't put up with that guy. And seriously, like all credit to David Gallant and anyone that works in a call center that has to put up with that kind of crap. So yeah, like I said, it's not really a game. It's more of kind of like an experience, like a facade. I don't know if anyone's played that. But anyway, thanks for watching. This game is available on Desura for £1.99, so it's really cheap. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.